Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Vodazar here with another build. This is the Insane Damage Archer. It's not a very pretty name, but it's uh, the build name's quite fitting for its purpose. I'll run through the items in this build and then cut the non commentary gameplay of the abilities in action. So in weapon number slot 1, you in the main hand is Sun's Grace. It's a unique mace which drops in high block holes. This has a high chance of healing yourself per hit, and if you're in a group it also has a healing AoE and heals pets if you're using them. Furthermore, it has pretty good damage which in the right with the right end chance it can excel and cleave damage. And in your armor slot, you'll be needing the in this build is the unique archer's armor. You get plus fifteen percent movement speed, plus ten plus ten arrows per bundle, and plus thirty percent range damage and mine dropped in redstone mines. And in your uh, secondary weapon slot, in this case your bow, you want to be using the unique harp crossbow, which dropped in Cacti Canyon, which has 68 times 5 range damage along with even more projectiles trait. And you want to have damage and speed and chance on this weapon for sure. And in the artifact slots from left to right is the boots of swiftness to pump your movement speed, which is great for farming dungeons or getting out of tight situations. This can drop from multiple locations. In the middle enchant, you want to be using flame and quiver. It drops in pumpkin pastures, and this is your big damage check. You press this, and it does not consume any arrows on use. It has a further plus 52 range damage DPS and strikes all enemies in front of you, setting the ground on fire and hitting very hard. In slot number 3 is the Love Medallion, which dropped for me in Creepy Crypt. This applies plus 47% damage boost on top of all other items in this build, and it can charm enemies to fight for you. In my experience, the charm rate is very high. On so on big enemy pulls, this is a game changer. If you happen to be struggling, what I do is activate Love Medallion, then activate Flaming Quiver and let the damage loose. Before I cut the non commentary footage, the gear shown in this video is all unique or from Adventure Mode. So you will have to complete the game on default mode first and prepare to do a lot of farming to get this gear. I hope you enjoyed this footage. And leave a like if you enjoy it and consider sharing and subscribing.